Hey everyone, I'm Hamrozi. In this guide video, I'm gonna show to you guys how to create an arc using Inkscape in two ways, which hopefully will help to know more of Inkscape and understand better in graphic design. Each technique have its uses and comfort. Let's get into it. So the first one is basically we're creating a circle or a ellipse and cut it using the line we drew. So first of all, make sure you create a ellipse or arc tool or basically create a perfect circle by using this ellipses arc tool, hold control plus shift to lock the proportions and just create something like this, the perfect circle. And then we're gonna use the pen tool over here to actually um, create the line so we can cut a path and create an arc with it. But first, make sure you turn on the snapping over here and make sure on the bounding boxes, you have the center um, checked as well as on the notes hierarchy the custom notes and the smooth notes, so we can work better with it. So let's create a line over here, left click on these edges over here, and then find the other edges and snap it, left click, and then you press right click on your mouse to apply the line. And then go to the, to the selection tool, hold shift and click on the circle, and we can actually cut, cut a path from this line over here that we just drew. So go to the path, cut path, and then we end up with two arc over here that we have just created. And for the next one, I'm gonna show you guys basically an interesting, sorry, an intersecting chords. So basically you can create a mini arc by using these in intersecting chords. So by using the pencil again, find your edges, left click and find the end point for it. Left, uh, left click on that and then press right click to apply the line and then left click again and go to the other line over here and then just right click to apply the line itself. And then go to the selection tool, hold shift and click on the other line over there. And then we're gonna combine them together into one object. So go to the path, combine, and then hold shift and click on the circle. And then we cut a path again, but you go to the path, cut path. And then we end up with a bunch of arc that we have just created like this. Alright, for the next one, we can actually create a perfect 90 degrees arc by using just a pen tool. So, back to the pen tool again, make sure you find the perfect top for that, which is in the middle like this, left click on that, and then you need to find the middle, like that, snap it, and then back to the left or the right, I'm gonna use the right this time, and then right click to apply the line itself, and then go to the selection tool, hold shift, and click on the circle itself, go to the path, cut path, and we end up with the perf nine, perfect 90 degrees arc like this. And lastly, I'm gonna show you guys the use cases to create your own math images using this technique. So go to the pen tool again, and then I'm gonna uh, left click on this part over here to the top and then to the side like this, and then back to its starting point. And then we end up with a triangle like this, and then I'm gonna press Control plus D to duplicate it and then hold shift and click on the circle itself, go to the path, cut path, and then we have this a bunch of arc that we have just created, and we can just recolor them to know more that it is a different arc with a different length, for example. So for the second technique, there's actually a built-in arc property in Inkscape. To do that, make sure you have your circle first in a ellipse size arc tool property. So by using the ellipse size arc tool, Hold control plus shift and just create a perfect circle like this. And then you'll notice that we have a three properties over here. Switch to slice, basically create a basically enclosed arc with center point and switch to arc, basically create an arc and do it. this is what we mainly use in this video and switch to court, basically an arc with enclosed line that connect them then. So to activate that, make sure you adjust the nodes you adjust the circle nose over here and just rotate it like this. And if I release it like this, you'll notice that we have these three arcs that is already activated. So it switched to slice. And then if, if you go to the switch to arc, it's gonna create an arc. And if we go to the switch to chord, it's create an arc with a connected line between them. So let's get back to the switch to arc. And then we just move around to create our arc perfectly like this. And then if I hold control, you'll notice that it's moved in a somewhat and 15 degrees. It's actually a 15 degrees movement like this, 15 degrees angle. So if you create a 15 degrees arc, it will be useful. 
like this, it's going to be 90 degrees, 180, uh, 240, and basically 360. And if we hold shift, you'll notice that the other node is going to move around as well, perpendicular to our movement, like this. And if we, at the same time, hold control like that, it's basically going to move the, the other nodes, the addition nodes, but at the same time, it's going to move in a 15 degrees angle. Or 15 degrees, yeah, 15 degrees angle. But it's the movement is a bit clunky at this moment. And yeah, make sure you have uh, adjust to it so you can look better with it. So that's two ways on how to create an arc using Inkscape. I hope you learned something new here. Among those two, which is better? Which one I need to use often? I must say nothing's better because both has each other uses. In terms of comfort, it's up to you. So the first way, it's really good for creating math images related, like presentation. It's also good for beginners to learn how the curve is made within the circle. For the second way, it's really good with precisions, especially in 15 degrees angle. It's also good for a quick result, like creating a repeated pattern. So which one you will be using? The first or second, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know for more guides in Inkscape as well. And as always, thank you for your time.